What's up, YouTube? Real quick video. About to do the driver side. Um, with a stripping. This one wasn't that bad. The other side was leaking. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this one too. But this one wasn't bad at all. But y'all can see I got the national outside. I got the national outside in the yard. Looking pretty, pretty good, man. To say it ain't even done. I don't know, I might not even sell the rims, man. The rims looking kind of fire right now. Got lip on there. Ooh, look at that lip. But yeah, you see that? So I got that one. I got that one in. That's the trim with the trim. And this is hitting on here and causing that. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with that later on down the line. But everything is looking good with that door. That door panel. So we're gonna tighten this up because we get no seats. We gotta go pick these seats up in a minute. But let me get to the finishing this trim. So I just I scraped off it on that side. So I gotta scrape off the rest of it on this side and pull the little tabs out and then put my adhesive there, my silicone adhesive there and I lock it back in. And then I'll also be swapping out this trim as well. Um, the trunk trim as well, I'll be swapping that out. That's not really bad either, but it sold the whole kit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too while we at it. I got the trim from Mike's Monty's. And this is a pretty easy setup, man. Um, really really self-explanatory for the most part but you there's only at two screws the top bolts up on this side this bolts up over here and they have the screws for that and then these little white things go in the little holes along the side but what I'm gonna do is because evidently GM put silicone adhesive on the front and the back now I put silicone adhesive on the front and the back and I'm not gonna put it in on the bottom, but I button that up and they go all the way around. And then I'll do the top. But maybe not today. But I'm definitely gonna do the top. And this is what the top looks like. But this was bad. And this was leaking bad. So I'm doing that now and um to get it to get it ready. To get it ready for everything else that I need to do going forward. Also got to put some stuff on these speakers because they're not flush. I mean, they're not, they're, they're flush, but the way the bracket is made, it doesn't hold tight. It's a little metal thing that doesn't hold tight. So that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm about to finish this, uh, this door up. It really don't take that long. The hardest part was getting all of this old silicone out of it. And that was it. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hit you back in a minute. Yeah, I got the trim in on both sides. Make sure that's right in the Zach. Oh man. Door panels back in. Clean up the seat belts, grab that seat, put the back seat in. Front seats will be done next month. Poster got to go take care of some business. And I gotta get that console painted. And the interior for the grand is done. Finally, interior done. Now we're gonna get this thing all the way right, man. Get it all the way right. Check out these LEDs real quick. In case y'all. In case y'all forgot. 
Let's check out the LEDs real quick. Let's see if we get that get that part light. Let's see if we get that part light. Don't play with me. Yeah, so we good, man. We good. So I got that done. Tomorrow we're gonna do the top level we're gonna go ahead and put the trunk in there's nothing wrong with this one but i'm gonna just change it anyway because it came with it so why not change all that tomorrow change out your spark plugs because the spark plugs are fouled out that's why it won't stay it's hard to crank so we're gonna change out the spark plugs um crash and burn that's my guy man he get, put me on game so i might be doing something a little different with these fans, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what we got that's what we got going on for now. So I'm gonna hit you guys in the morning when I get this thing. When I get this thing pulled out. What's going on YouTube? I'm gonna grab these seats for my post of the day. Going to see what's going on up here with these, with these, with these seats here. What's going on with it? What's up, man? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hey. You did, you did that. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. Got new boy Turbo Six in there. Yes, sir. Said, this this, my, this my man right here. Shout yes, out, shout out, man. Hey, J Dub's the recovery room. We'll take care of all your automotive upholstery, oh, uh, automotive upholstery needs. Here we have it. Here we got it. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we got these right here. And the, the, these at work. Yes, these sir. These at play. Yes. Good stuff right here, man. I'm loving this. Man. Back at the Ponderosa. A lot of sliding demonstrations up in here. Man, these jokes came out good, bro. Like I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. This camera work, the stitching is right and exact, just like just like it was in the originals. Piping is just a little bit bigger, so it's a little more pronounced. But man, these jokers is right and exact. Loving this, loving this. Can't wait till I get the front seats in, player. Yeah, I'm about to slide these up in here now. Clean this up a little bit. Um, yeah, I got a few issues in here. Just dirty. That's it. I mean, been collecting dust, been sitting. I think I had to move this car out the garage. I know it over a year, probably almost a year and a half, maybe two, because I've had the I've had the Impala about a year and a half, so. Yeah, it's definitely been about that. Let me go ahead and get this cleaned up real quick. Man, I'm telling you. When when this Grand National is done, this is going to be one of the nicest Grand Nationals in the city. It's dusty right now, but it's going to be all right. But the, but the best takeaway from, from this, man, on, on a serious note, is that... um. It's all me, you know what I mean? Well, with the exception of those seat get those seat covers, everything else in here, I put my hands on. I put my hands on everything on this car. On the rear end, coilovers, control arms, sway bars, turbo. Everything, man. QA1s up here. Everything. LEDs. Yep. Love it, man. So look. Just the um 
part one i got the rear seats in just wait on the front he said by the month i have my fronts in and um in between now and then i'll be dialing that in getting the rest of this uh trim in i'm about to pull this out in a minute and get the trim in the weather trim and that's all i'm gonna do for now uh everything else i'm gonna get once i get the uh exhaust it's so as far as dialing it in on the idle and i got to find that vacuum leak i think i got a vacuum leak because they say vacuum supposed to be around 17 and mine's right around 12 right now so it's, it's a leak somewhere but i got some starter fluid so i can find that leak i'll show you how to find them leaks in a minute but uh um, but yeah man everything is good i'm loving it i'm still i'm so impressed with my seats so impressed with my seats but yeah this part one of the video i'm gonna get back with you guys in a minute when i do this but i'll probably put that in this video too the rest of the, the rest of the trim okay, i got the bottom in that was pretty decent that's pretty easy the trunk is self-explanatory but i'm gonna go ahead and do that this afternoon put a video up with that and then i'm gonna end this video and post this one and i'll get back with you guys when i get the front seats in on this grand nest what up what up what up youtube back at it i already know what it is had to paint up um, the trim on replacing the weather strip so while i'm waiting on that trim to dry i'm swapping out the spark plugs because on e85 based on my research e85 burns cooler and i had a hotter plug and this is the new plug well this is the old plug on the left new plug on the right and as you can see the hotter plug has a longer electrode in the inside and the cooler plug has a shorter one so these plugs and, and the thing is this plug on the left side they were actually new so i only turned the car over maybe three maybe four or five times before it actually started filing out so i'm a i'm hoping that burning a newer a cooler a cooler plug will make it run a little bit better but we're gonna see i'm just trying something because the only thing i could really troubleshoot on the car that was different was i went to e85 versus the 93 and when i started it with the 93 it was fine the last time when i went to e85 then it just starts rough after after a few starts it started running real, real kind of rough it, it'll smooth out but it'll still run rough at start and then i have to find that vacuum leak because i believe it's a vacuum leak on that vacuum box so i'm about to install these and get to that in a second see what it do some gap in the plugs everybody on the forum said anywhere but they say most guys run like 32 point 32 um but no sorry not point two the point zero three two i'm gonna run point zero three two and i'm gonna see what it do some guys ran a point zero three zero i'm gonna i'm gonna see what it is see i'm you know just get an idea what it is because I'll, i'm probably gonna swap these plugs out again because i'm sure while i'm dialing in it's a high possibility it might fall file out you might file these plugs out as well but i'm gonna see what these being the cooler plug what we got going on I got the, the, the weather trim in. I got to button that piece there. Up. Subscribe. <laughs> this one came in pretty decent. Um, I don't really like that. I might redo it because. I had to cut some of that off. So I got to run on the door as well. And everything closes good. Seal tight. My little man on the Saturday out here. 
looking good man so let me go ahead and get this other one buttoned up so i can fire up what i did i put the um i put the cooler spark plug in it now the issue i found with the spark plugs was i got five of them out of here but it's really six so about what i got one stash so i can just keep up with what i got going on but what happened was five of the six this one in here somewhere five of the six were filed out this one wasn't that bad this this all of those are filed out terribly. and the other one looks just like those just like those completely black and that's only after starting the car maybe five or six times you know um one one well, a few times when i put the um turbo back in the first time and the the return the drain line the oil line from the turbo was blocked and then just now i went to e85 so i'm about to um button up this weather strip and fire the car so i put it back in all right we back it seems like the spark plug upgrade might have did the trick it still doesn't start at key on like it usually do but it doesn't i don't have to pat the gas as much as i did before with those spark plugs are filed out so um i'm gonna do some fine tuning and everything once i get my fan in and my seats are in so i could drive the car it's not really no point in messing with it anymore and i can't really drive it because the blms have to learn you know before anything adjusts itself and i can't do that unless i drive the car so i'm in this video now Everything is cool. Seats back in there. Yeah, buddy. It's amazing how good the, the unfinished car looks. But I got my trim in. I didn't put the trunk trim in yet. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it, to be honest with you, because there's nothing wrong with this one. I said I was gonna change it out. I might change it out, I might not. We'll see, we'll see what go on when it go to paint. If we go to paint and the guy pulls it off, then I'll let him put the new one back on. So that's it for now, man. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. I'm going to get on to this right here. I don't know if I'm going to mess with this today or tomorrow, but I'm about to swap the rear shocks out because the shocks are bad on here. And I know I'm not getting those coilovers anytime soon, and I definitely want to start back driving my car. But I can't drive it going like that. Can't. So I'm going to get with you guys. Peace.